Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the Hollow Hookup Box for October 2017. The Hollow Hookup Box is a special box that comes out once a month. You can't do like um, a subscription to where you just sign up and it just shows up every month. You have to go and order it each month. And I will leave a lot more information down in the description box on this. These are made in the USA. And there are three makers that are in this collection every month. And they are different dimensions, Glisten and Glow, and Cupcake Polish. And then every month they invite a, another indie maker to be the guest polish. And this month it's Blush Lacquers. So I'm going to swatch these on my nails for you. I hope you enjoy these. First, we're going to run through them real quick. Blush Lacquers is called Cha Cha Cha. And then Different Dimensions is Samba. And then Glisten and Glow did Rumba. And then Cupcake Polish is Peso Double. You guys know I have trouble speaking. I have trouble pronouncing things. So I'm going to get these open and we're going to do some swatching. Alrighty, here we go. If I can stay in frame, we're going to work on it. Now, first of all, I want to show you real quick the brush on this blush lacquer. This is one of my favorite shaped styled brushes. Kind of rounded on the end, but wide. I love it. So, we're going to get a coat of this going. Now, I'm going to admit, I have already swatched this on a nail wheel at work because as soon as it came in, I had to see it out of the bottle and I was floored with this one. Makes me want to go stalk the website for this company. <laughs> and we're supposed to be behaving. So that was just a beautiful first coat. And you could probably get away with one coat. I am in love with it. Maybe we're dating, I don't know. The next one I've got is Different Dimensions. By the way, that's just the most gorgeous orange hollow. Uh, and I'm so happy to have it. So the next one here we have is Different Dimensions, and it's a beautiful pink. And everybody knows Tina likes her pink. It's just going on beautifully. Not too thick, not too thin. I like that. This box, of course, is not available. The reason why I keep showing them to you is because if you like what you're seeing from these, you might want to start paying attention to their pre-order sales and get in on the next box. Because I've gotten, I think this is my third box, and I have been floored every time. So, I'm hooked. Um, they've got me. Um, I'm there hook, line, and sinker. So the next one we have is this Glisten and Glow, and it's insane pretty. It's blue, but of course you can see that it's blue, but it's got this little bit of a dusty quality to it. Not too dusty. It didn't make it look grungy or anything, which, you know, sometimes I like that, you know. Sometimes I'm down with it, but this one's just perfect in my mind. It's got that dustiness with the hollow. And I know that sounds crazy to go throw in dusty right beside hollow, but seriously, that is how I'm seeing it. So, oof, love it. So we're going to cap these ends. Oh, love it. The next one is cupcake polish, and it's more of a ready pink color. I'm just so in love with it. I'm in love with all of them. Who am I kidding? All of them. This is like my new favorite thing every month. Now, I'd still get crazy happy over square hue every month, but this is hollow. I mean, hollow. Hollowlicious. And I am digging this box every month. I get crazy excited. I've taken nail wheels to work so that I can swatch them and start enjoying them immediately. Okay, so there we go. We have the first coat of all three of them. And I believe this one's dry enough to go in with our second coat. And I, you know, I don't want this video to be, you know, forever long. 
I know a lot of you have told me to make them as long as you want. We don't care. And, and I really do appreciate that. But, you know, I try to keep it, you know, to where I'm not eating up, you know, your whole evening. Oh, honey. This is, this is orange, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it has got some pink in there that's just making this glow. I am crazy in love with this one. Now, I used to have a favorite, and I'm just going to go ahead and do, do the second coats while I'm chatting. I used to have a favorite orange hollow. It was my favorite. I mean, I, I loved it more than probably, well, almost any other polish. I do have another favorite, but um, it was made by a pol polish company called Jade, and they're not readily available. They're really hard to get, and when you do get them, they're expensive, and they're these tiny little bottles, and, but it was called, um, Uai, U-A-I, with an exclamation point, and it was the perfect orange for doing, like, monarch butterfly leaves, I mean, nails, and I just, my bottle is practically empty, and I've seen it, I've seen it on Evil Bay, but I just can't bear to cough up that money, and, so... I'm really happy to have this one from Blush Lacquer. It may be my replacement. It might even be better than the Jade one. I can't believe I'm saying that. But it could be. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I didn't have to break out Woody for any of that. Look how beautiful these went on. No cleanup, nothing. Heavens to Mercatoroids. This is perfect. Okay close these bottles up real quick so in case I knock something over I'm not wasting the gorgeous beautiful hollows and then I'm gonna put some top coat on these so that you can see what they look like and I will be using my posh as I normally do and I just filled up my bottle so it's gonna take me a minute to figure out how much to load on my brush And the thing about hollows is a lot of times, oh yeah, they're blingy, they're sparkly, they're pretty, but a lot of times the hollow really starts jumping out after you put the top coat on and it starts drying down. You start getting that dry down, ugh, and it just starts singing to you. At least it does for me. And I hope I'm not boring you guys with my chat. I know most of you like the chitty chatty ones but I figure you, you guys have seen me paint my nails loads of times so you know I don't have to explain step by step that I'm brushing this on so I figured the chat would be okay today and let me know what you think about the live swatching on my nails if if you know it's okay or if you prefer me just to whip out some pop sticks because I can do it either way and there might be times where I do still have to pull out the pop sticks just because I have a beautiful manicure on it and I just cannot bear to take it off. But I have something I want to share, especially if it's time sensitive. Ooh, we just got some of that on our... We don't want that going in the posh bottle. <clears throat> Let me get that cleaned off real quick. I went to do that one time, kind of wipe it between the paper towel and pull it, and I pulled all the bristles out. It just made me sick. So, here we go. They're just bling-tastic gorgeous. All of them. Super duper excited about it. So, like I said, I will leave a link down below um, for the hollow hookup. Um, it shouldn't be too long now before you can go ahead and get in on the pre-order for next month. I'm going to zoom this out so you can see all these babies. They're just sitting there all side by side. The gorgeous, wonderful polishes. If you like indies and you like hollows, this might be the box for you. It's definitely the box for me. I'm totally excited. So, there you have it. No polish fans. We have cupcake polish. Peso Doble, Glistening Glows, Rumba, and then Different Dimension, 
I always say different dimensions, so y'all just have to excuse me, but it's different dimension. No S on the end. And that one's Samba. And then blush lacquers, cha-cha-cha. Love it. Okay, I don't know if you could tell, but my favorite this month was the Gust Maker. I love all of them. <coughs> I hope to do some nail art with every one of them very soon for you. And that is all I have for today. So I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you get this box or if you got this one. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I always, always love chat and polish with you. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.